singles competition on the way here as Simon Grimm waits inside the ring. Serpentico, I don't know what's wrong with this guy the last couple of months. He's got a real uh, chair fetish going on. He's earned the nickname Chair Pentico here at Fest Wrestling. And that's the second time that Simon Grimm has taken the chair and whipped it to the outside. He doesn't want it to get involved in this one, but there he goes Sir Pentico for it. Oh. And he gets cut off from Simon Grimm. Is he Grimm or Gotch? He owns the Gotch name, you know. He's Simon oh. Grimm tonight. Oh, whatever the case, he is uh, literally kicking the crap out yeah, of Sir Pentico. Him right in the face there. Uh, that was a, uh, a relatively strong boot to the face as well. Yes. A couple of European uppercuts from Grimm. Oh, just dropped on his head on the uh, rail. Uh, Gr Grimm may be uh, losing his mind here. And action spilling all the way into yeah, the merchandise really area. I would like to... Uh, Another uh, European uppercut from Simon Grimm. And there... Looks like Serpentico's got the better at Grimm now. Uh, yeah, right, right into the seven. banister from uh, Serpentico on Grimm. His trade blows now. Back and Barroom Brawl here in Gainesville, Florida at Fest Wrestling. And uh, they are spilling right through the crowd. Very dangerous situation for all involved here tonight. Oh! And Simon again. The fans seem to appreciate the fact that uh, Serpentico is uh, getting his ass beat. And Simon Grimm is leading the crowd in a uh, Happy birthday for Fest Wrestling. Very kind of him. Yeah. That is trademarked, but I will not tell anyone. What is? No, they, they, they song. Oh, it is. trademarked it. It's not trademarked anymore. Oh, well. This is a really boring conversation for comics there. <laughs> but they, yeah, like anybody can sing it now without repercussions. Creative oh. Commons is what you're saying. Well, great. Yeah. We don't have to pay money now. Yeah, because you know, I used to go to Applebee's and they'd have like some weird birthday song. Yeah. Don't have to do it anymore. Anyway, wrestling. All right. <laughs> Action spilling back towards the ring. I, I don't think the bell has rung, has it? I don't think they've been in the ring while wrestling. Yeah, you're right. So the match isn't really even underway yet. This is literally, I, you see Serpentico rolled Gotch under the rope to break the count, which I don't even think is being officially counted well, did he yet. Did roll him in or was Gotch trying to get in? I, I missed that. Part. I'm not sure. Super kick from Serpentico. Maybe Gotch just wants to start a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Well, it's right, been well, an, it, it has been an old-fashioned brawl inside the, oh, here we go. And Finally, referee is, Frank Gasset will call for the bell. Match underway. And Gotch, hold on, trying to roll him up. Instead, picks Serpentico right up on the roll through, and oh, what a brain buster. It's like a small package brain buster. And this is the first time we've seen Simon Grimm since he debuted at the Hardcore Hunt where he picked up a victory against Brody King. I don't know how well you know Simon, but if you think we have some weirdos here at Fest Wrestling, Teddy Stigma yourself involved, uh, 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 included I should say, uh, Gotch I think surpasses all of you as far as the weirdness factor goes. I haven't quite figured Gotch out yet, I'll give you that. I don't think anyone has. Gonna... <laughs> I don't think anyone has. I, got, got, I get along with him, but my goodness, is he a unique bird. Unorthodox style and unorthodox attitude oh, well, at Simon here Grimm. Yeah. Kind of fits in, though, right, yeah, Teddy? Real Island of Misfit Toys. Yeah. And that's about the 15th uppercut from Grimm so far in this one. Kind of roll through. Wow. Oh, wow. oh that's, that He's got some strength. Physically. Incredible strength! Simon Grimm with the upper Straight hand up, in this one so far. Over. That's what we call a cock strong up in the mountains. Serpentico. Was, that, was it a deadlift follow a slam? I guess for lack of a better description. Well, I, well, I, have you ever stepped... The description of his strength is cock strong. Yeah, don't worry. Oh. Have you ever stepped into the ring with somebody with the natural strength of Simon Gotch as now Serpentico nails the sling blade and goes into the cover? Gotch out of two. I mean, the impressive strength and stamina allows him to kick out of something like a sling blade. Yeah, I mean, something like a sling blade, though. That's the amount of momentum that a guy carries with him doing that. You'll feel it. And Serpentico finally getting his entrance jacket off as he's using it to choke Simon Grimm. Oh, well, maybe not as devastating as a chair, but I'm sure he'll get to it.
I think we got Serpentico uh, uh, trying in vain to get the crowd into it. And the crowd showing their distaste yeah, for Serpentico. He's, he's feeding off of it. And he's got an answer for him as well. Too many middle fingers here in wrestling in 2018. He's being distracted so far. He got to keep his attention on There's Simon. As common Grimm. as uh, funny colored contact lenses. Well, instead of focusing on Gotch or Grimm, Serpentico jawing away at somebody here in the front row. Oh. And Serpentico again, flipping off the uh, the crowd here. Cover. Not a two. We were talking about the strength of Gotch, but what about the, oh, yeah. the, the natural agility and speed of Serpentico can strike so quickly, which we saw with the sling blade, Ted? Yeah, I think we're kind of seeing that play itself out here. You know, you got Gotch doing deadlifts, but you got Serpentico coming in with, uh, uh, you know, high momentum moves, using the ropes to his advantage, doing whatever he can. And so, yeah, it's an interesting dynamic. That's gonna, the most uh, smart sounding thing I'll say all day. I'm going to imagine you've been in the ring against Serpentico. <laughs> oh, running seated senton. I've been in the ring with some version of Serpentico, <laughs> he whose name we shall not mention. Well, you see, some version of Serpentico, I think you're right, because we have seen Serpentico in the past, maybe more of the, uh, on the, uh, I suppose, the technical side of things, but uh -huh. the last few months has oh, been yeah. much more of a Rudo. That's true. and and and. The last time I was in the ring with Serpentico, uh, uh, not so much in the Rudo phase, and uh, I was the one doing dastardly things. But a bit of an attitude. Uh, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> oh, sure you can. A bit of an attitude adjustment. Yeah, it's, it's been a bit of an attitude adjustment as of late. Now, I believe that the intent there was to explode that remaining balloon. I couldn't even tell what was going on. And Serpentico now, the running leg drop. Gotch trying to get out of the way, but not in time. Again, speed of Serpentico. Yeah, absolutely. And Serpentico now sees another. But what, what did we decide here? A, a gaggle, a flock of balloons here, Max? Uh, is that what this is? I'm going to go with a school. A bunch. A school. A school of a balloons. A school of balloons. I thought he was going to grab one. How about a murder? A murder. <laughs> Leap off the top rope. A flock. Oh, I already said a flock. My god, look at Gotch! Raw power coming back. Overhead, belly to belly suplex. And that took an awful lot out of Gotch. He's still trying to catch his breath. Well, he's lucky he was even able to get that off. He caught him just right. But man, Serpentico really had the upper hand there. Serpentico. It's, taken, it's everything in them just to find each other, to punch each other. Center of the ring, forearm smashes as uh, Oh! A little bit of a uh, certain kind of language. Well, as we uh, saw at the start of this match with both Serpentico oh, and Gotch oh. crawling out in the crowd, one thing we do know here at Fest is that we play fast and loose with the rules oh. and... Oh my God! What a German suplex by Gotch! And somehow Serpentico back up on his feet. Man, these pump strikes are vicious. Big knee from Simon Grimm into the corner. Oh, snap Saito suplex. A snap Saito suplex. Snap Saito. I mean, that was with some incredible momentum. And a kick out by Serpentico. There's like that low snapping variety. Very uh, interesting innovation on that. Well, you see how Suplex he landed by up, Gotch. He landed up high on the neck. Yes. And that's exactly what that does. There's, there's no time to even attempt to absorb the blow. It's just an instant impact. Now Gotch, or Grimm. Oh, it looked like he was ready to finish off Serpentico, who I think poked at Gotch's eyes. And now Serpentico. Oh, he was going for the spinning DDT, but reverse from Grimm. Oh, oh my God, incredible strike, oh. but... Oh, look, right into the... Going for the arm bar. Oh, what a transition by Gotch! Wow! What a sequence of moves there! It looked like a Falcon Arrow that was transitioned. Falcon Arrow into an arm bar. And it looked like Serpentico tried to roll up Gotch out of that Falcon Arrow. Serpentico rolls and managed. gets the rope. 
Breaks up the submission attempt from Simon Grimm. Managed to get to the ropes, but he's lucky he got out of that. Absolutely, and oh. uh, Grimm, or Gotch, or Simon, or whatever you want to call him, he's got Serpentico's chair. Either and way, he's uh, playing fast and loose with the rules, like you were saying. Oh, and he misses. And the finger's going right into the mat. Oh. And those legs of the chair jammed down on yep. Gotch's fingers, and now into the cover here. Serpentico to put it away. Gotch may have broken phalanges. Well, that's that uh, innovative use of the chair that we've seen by Serpentico. And I think Grimm is going to regret bringing that chair into this one because we've seen in the past two matches against Beasley and Saiv Al Sabah, Serpentico will just wail on you with this steel chair. I would like to walk back my comments from earlier about his chair fetish. I'm not fetish shaming Serpentico. I just want to be clear about that. <laughs> We're inclusive here at Plus Wrestling. Fair, fair enough. Well, I don't know whether or not Grimm is going to be appreciative. Oh, oh my God. No. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, gonna... no, no. What are you doing over here? And he's. <laughs> oh, you can't just take chairs from people. You don't mind? And uh, Rich has lost his chair. Uh, I'm more concerned about Gotch right now, gentlemen. Oh, well, this that's is very kind of you. This is very concerning, the uh, position that he's in. Oh, no, 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 no. Go! No! 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 that I felt the very last time that I was in Gainesville for. Hmm. Now I'm not sure what you and Jason Kate are up to, but I put nothing past a sewage-sniffing, self-absorbed snake. You see, I know why you guys fear the gift. You're afraid of what I'll become. You've always been afraid of what I've become. I'm no longer what you think I was. I am what you think I become. The divine leader, the child of the eighth day, Saeed Al Sabah. And I know for a fact that only the humble can absorb wisdom. Hmm? Would allow me to humble you. Because the world. for Serpentico, and now he has his attention focused on the video screen. Heads up for Gotch from behind. Big buckle ball. Hold on here, Gotch with a pump handle. Pile driver, and that's going to do it. Good night, Serpentico. Here is your winner, Simon Grimm. Bring your mom too. We saw Saeed al Sabah take chair shot after chair shot from Serpentico, and this is how he retaliates. Just enough time for Simon Grimm to get back to his feet, distracted Serpentico, and now Simon Grimm walks out victorious. All right. Guys, I, I don't even understand any of this. I want to know who Saeed paid off to even get that video to play at the exact right time, first of all. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go find that out right now. All right, and we are losing Teddy Stigma, but the return of Simon Grimm, he walks out with the victory in this one.